Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. I uh, got some more good news for you. Now, uh, I, I tell y'all, whenever there's good news, I try to report it. With uh, so much uh, wars and rumors of wars, there is uh, some good news out there. Uh, it looks like the sanctions just may be working with North Korea. Now, I'm sure China is giving the assurance to North Korea, Kim Jong-un, that if anything, any attacks or any uh, attempt evasion, that uh, China would uh, be on their side. Uh, I truly believe that China gave Kim the uh, assurance of that. That's why Kim is so boldly uh, now approaching de talks about denuclearization. Uh, I think he very, very may well denuclearize uh, with, with China, him being secure that China has their back. Uh, in case any uh, attacks against his country, North Korea. Uh, this is coming out of NHK World. Pompeo uh, urges bold North Korea action to, to denuclearize. Wonderful news, wonderful news. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the United States is prepared to work with North Korea to achieve prosperity if it takes bold action to quickly denuclearize. So uh, the United States is looking for a quick denuclearization, a quick plan for denuclearization, probably nothing drawn out over many, many years, something quick, and I think uh, Kim may very well do that. Uh, uh, I think that he uh, was scared at first uh, because what happened to Gaddafi, uh, he made a comment on that, look what happened to Gaddafi when he gave up his uh, nuclear weapons, and uh, Kim Jong-un did make that comment, but I think uh, once again, uh, that China has given uh, Kim Jong-un a full assurance that uh, China would pr protect uh, North Korea. Uh, I got some videos here that I'd like to show you. Uh, first is coming out of NHK and the other one out of uh, uh, Fox and Neuro, uh, Euro News. Uh, let's get these uh, videos going. I think, they, I think you'd find it very interesting. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has suggested the U.S. could provide economic assistance to North Korea if it acts quickly to denuclearize. Pompeo made the remarks at a joint news conference with South Korean Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa in Washington. If North Korea takes bold action to quickly denuclearize, the United States is prepared to work with North Korea to achieve prosperity on the par with our South Korean friends. The top U.S. diplomat said he had substantive talks with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on Wednesday during his second visit to the North. I am confident that we have a shared understanding of the outcome that the leaders want. He said he thinks he and Kim had what he called a pretty good understanding about the shared objectives of the upcoming U.S.-North Korea summit. Pompeo stressed the complete denuclearization of the Korean peninsula would require a robust verification program by the U.S. and other countries. He said he tried to persuade Kim to denuclearize by explaining that historically the U.S. had often become close partners with its former adversaries. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is wonderful news. I have to say that's wonderful news. Uh, great work on uh, President Trump. Uh, I got a couple more videos. They're coming up right now. God bless you. And uh, thanks again for subscribing. Here comes the uh, additional videos. The United States will aid North Korea's economic recovery, provided it agrees to give up its nuclear weapons, says Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. International sanctions have impeded the economy, where roughly 70% of the country's population struggle to avoid hunger and one quarter of children under five suffer chronic malnutrition, according to the World Food Program. If Chairman Kim chooses the right path, there is a future brimming with peace and prosperity for the North Korea, North Korean people. If North Korea takes bold action to quickly denuclearize, the United States is prepared to work with North Korea to achieve prosperity on the par with our South Korean friends. Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea have calmed in recent weeks following Kim's pledge to denuclearize the Korean Peninsula. However, future relations hinge on the North making good on its promise. Permanent, complete, verifiable. The dismantling of the North Korean nuclear program. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says that's the goal of the upcoming summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un. 
As for what that specifically means... In order to achieve that, uh, it will require a robust verification program, uh, and one that, uh, in, in, uh, uh, that, that we will undertake with partners around the world, which will achieve that outcome in a way that, frankly, no agreement before it has ever set forth. Pompeo has just returned to the State Department after his second round of discussions with Kim Jong-un in Pyongyang. He also brought back with him three now formerly imprisoned American citizens. The secretary's first public meeting after that trip, South Korean Foreign Minister Kang Kyung-hwa. She emphasized the U.S.-led alliance refuses to offer North Korea any relief from international sanctions before the summit between the president and Kim. Well, we're very clear that the sanctions remain in place until and unless we see visible, meaningful action taken by North Korea on the denuclearization track. Kang also says the substantial U.S. military presence in her country is off the table in these upcoming talks. Secretary Pompeo has had more substantive conversations, perhaps more than any other Westerner, with Kim Jong-un. He's the dictator of a country known as the Hermit Kingdom for its isolation and brutality. What's it like to talk to him? Our conversations were warm. Uh, we, were, we were each representing our two countries, trying our best to make sure that we were communicating clearly. We talked about the fact that America has... Uh, often in history had adversaries who we are now close partners with and our hope that we could achieve the same with respect to North Korea. And they may see each other again soon. A senior U.S. official says representatives from the United States and North Korea agreed to meet again to discuss more details about this upcoming summit between the president and Kim Jong-un.